At Xbox, we are always exploring beyond what's possible. What if we found a way to bring that content to the device that they already own? I mean, it's you're, you are using an Xbox. We just happen to have put it someplace where we can put a lot of them. And this video feed is the video feed that would be on your TV. Hello, I'm Kareem Chowdhury. <laughs> My name is Kevin LaChapelle. Take it off. All right. My name's Emily. Hello. I'm Rachel. I like crazy. I'm not here to do easy or simple or conservative. I'm always pushing myself and my team to be just on the edge of possible. It's part of what I love about working in gaming. I'm in charge of everything related to the servers and services. All the code and in the networking that goes on in the cloud and the data center is all under my my purview. We do all kinds of different research. We do like surveys and hands-on stuff where people are actually using an interface in front of us. I am representing the folks who may be interested in gaming, maybe lightly game, but like want to dive into the latest stuff because I'm curious about it. I just kind of don't know where to begin. I was employee number one. I started Project X Cloud. Well, it really started Kareem Chowdhury, who was my boss at the time. There's this fine line between just complete insanity and, you know, plausibly crazy. And that's where I actually try to operate. He and I were having lunch and just talking about what were big ideas that were, were something we wanted to tackle and we thought was important. And cloud gaming was, was the one we both were like, yeah, okay, the time has come. When we started this, we literally took 16 Xbox consoles, drove to Quincy, Washington, zip tied them into a data center rack. <laughs> and we had the phone number of the person who ran the data center. Anytime we needed to reboot one of them, we had to call this guy up <laughs> and say, hey, can you go to our rack and, and reboot number four? <laughs> okay, I can't drop it, right? Got the controller, this awesome blue one. <laughs> Here we are. We've got a phone and a controller, and I'm getting ready to play some games. I'm holding an Xbox controller hooked up to a Android. I'm going to do it all wirelessly. We do have this uh, cord connected to the phone, but that's purely for capturing the video output for the recording. You don't need this cable right here. So I'm going to open the Game Pass app here. Comes up. You'll see it has different tabs here, cloud, console, PC. So this app is the Universal Game Pass app. Looks like I'm on a main home page where they have some of their games that they're promoting here. I see I'm on the Cloud tab, thinking that all these games are specifically available in Cloud. OK, let's do Minecraft Dungeons. All right, we're taking off. When I think of mobile games, I think of things a little bit more simple. And then when I see this, this is just like what I would normally expect to see on my console. And I don't see any degradation of the quality of uh, the game itself. It looks like it's the full game. So I'm in right now. I'm going to go ahead and move around. Ooh, OK. Oh my gosh, I haven't played in a little bit. So I'm relearning the controls here. I was on some sort of track, but I decided to abandon that. Honestly, one of the most satisfying parts of playing Forza is being able to crash into things. <laughs> to take the path not taken slash the path that does not exist. Cloud gaming makes it possible and a lot easier to like show my friends who don't have consoles at home and who are maybe like curious about gaming and curious about what I'm up to <laughs> and have always kind of wanted to try it a little bit. It makes it possible to sit down on the couch and show them and just let them play, you know, play a little Forza, crash into some <laughs> walls, feel that nice satisfying crunch <laughs> when they come down and just kind of get a little bit of that like magic of being able to to game. Oh yes, we've already announced that we're bringing it to iOS and PC early this year. So I won't give you specific dates, but it's it's not not very far. I would say what you've seen us do so far, it's just the beginning. I'm not going to stop. We're not going to stop. You know, we've enabled cloud gaming to Android phones and tablets. We've already announced that we're coming to PCs and iOS this year. And if fans wanted to reach you or give you feedback, where could they go? <laughs> well, tweet at Phil. You know, <laughs> Phil, Phil knows how to reach Sorry. me.